Hey guys, this is your girl Lady T, Chef Lady T, Lady T's DIY and Lady T Kitchen. It's been a while since I come on this page and to put up some videos. So now, um, this morning I decided to make some breakfast and record it to put it on my channel. And I have some few more videos that are coming up. So today guys, our menu will be steak, egg and cheese with chia butter bread and some croissant. So these are the ingredients I will be using this morning. And you have a spoon of tomato paste, um, some green peppers, some dry spices, some onions, white onions, if you have red, yellow, purple onion, and some cooking vegetable oil and our pre-cooked steak that we'll be using for this breakfast this morning. And also we have some garlic, some fresh parsley. We cannot forget the garlic. The garlic is everything. So I love to cook with garlic. And these are right now we are getting ready to preheat our pan on a low medium heat, not too high and not too low. So medium. I prefer to use a wooden spoon because of my non-stick pan. But if you prefer to use anything else, you can. So now I'm adding some ve cooking vegetable oil to my pan. Not too much because it's breakfast. You don't want too much that too much grease in your food early in the morning. Just a little bit enough for you to stir your, your vegetables and your steak. So now I'm adding some garlic. I said I won't be doing too much talking, but I guess I'm going to do it today. Now I'm frying up my garlic and I add some more cooking oil because it was not enough. So now I'm adding my steak. I love my steak. Um, well done. And I also like to see the brown on my steak. So if you prefer it this way, you can do it. But me, I prefer it the way you see I'm doing it on this video. And it's also pre-cooked steak that I bought at the store. And if you want to do it from non-pre-cooked steak, you can do it. But this one is a pre-cooked steak that I bought. And this is how I like my steak. I like to, all, all the sides to be nice and golden brown. And now I'm adding some green peppers, some white onions. If you don't have no white onions, you can use purple onions. But I usually use purple onions, but I didn't have any today, so I used my white onions. And I didn't have much vegetables left, so that's the reason why I use only green peppers and white onions today. Because I usually have red peppers and orange and yellow peppers in my, um, my dish. And you know, now I'm adding some of my dry spices, um, some roasted garlic, some garlic and um, black pepper, uh, some chili, some flake. And now I'm adding a teaspoon of tomato paste because I want my steak to have a little color. And if you prefer it without the tomato paste, you can do it without the tomato paste. But I love it with a little nice golden that yellowish color and I add a little, little bit of water so I can dilute the tomato paste a little bit and now I'm adding some fresh parsley it always smell it smells so good guys you guys have to be in the house and my kitchen to smell this this is smells so good and it tastes so good 
it doesn't take long to cook it because the steak already pre-cooked but i just like my steak a certain way so that's the reason why maybe it will take a little longer so now we are heading to our eggs uh we will show you how there's a way that everyone do their eggs but me i cracked my egg at first there was some stuff that dropped in there so i'll take it out and i also use a spoon to take the um um the some people call it germs but i take the spoon to take them out it's like them white pieces in the and the egg but if you haitian you will know we do take this one out and i also squeeze some lime in my in my eggs some haitian does it some don't and adding some salt and some spices some dry spices to my egg because I, I love my egg season and now i'm adding some vegetable oil to my pan i usually fry my egg with butter but i don't know for some reason i forgot the butter that day so i just use cooking oil not too much and this will be a scrambled egg because i will have to scram yeah it's gonna be a scrambled egg And off camera, I did add some turmeric to my eggs because everyone knows turmeric is really good for inflammation. So I love um, turmeric and I always add turmeric to my food. And now I'm adding cheese to my chia butter bread. My son had um, the croissant with, with the breakfast and I had the chia butter bread with the breakfast and some avocado so yes guys this is the breakfast it didn't take long it's like about five minutes or to ten minutes to do this breakfast and an easy breakfast for you to do in the morning if you want to and thank you for watching may god bless each and every one of you please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment below and tell us how we did and i thank you all for watching and more videos are coming very soon thank you everyone may god richly bless each and every one of you